It's safe. Just a little further. Time might be pretty in our room. Clem, what's this? It's called a salt lick. Salt lick? Ugh, sounds gross. Whatever you do, don't lick it. It tastes horrible. Wait a minute, how do you know? Did you lick it? I don't know. <sighs> Doesn't look like there's been a horse here in a long time. Must have had electricity here once. Beatnik. My people, my former people, they had a practice. They called it collecting. use them as a weapon. I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange, but that's why I brought you here. To see them as I do. As people. As people? Well, not people exactly, but <sighs> something in between. Part of us is still in there. Deep down. So few of us die anymore. We turn. Not dead, not alive. God, I hope that's not true. That sounds like hell. To you, maybe. I think it seems... peaceful. Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. Think about it this way. As someone you cared about turned. Clem's friend, Lee. She shot him before he did. Sorry. Maybe this wasn't the best way to explain. Didn't mean to bring up difficult memories. I lived among walkers for years. Still do, in a way. When they're alone, they're harmless, innocent. If you want my help, I need you to try and walk with them. Then tell me if you really believe they're just monsters. They are just monsters. They're not people or friends. Clem! She'll be safe, I promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. She just needs to move as they do. If it gets bad in there, I'll need you to save me, okay? Can you do that? I... Yes. I'll always protect you. I know you will.
The first rule is never go alone. I'm not leaving you. I'll be right back. See if there's somewhere to hide. I will. Remember to breathe. I will. I promise. The mask will disguise your scent, but be gentle and be quiet. Touch the wind chime. You'll see. kiddo it's all right i'm fine see no bites no bites so do you still think they're just monsters now that you've seen them at peace any different at all i i think you might be right about there being something more to them it was kind of nice in there Really? I never met someone who understood. It's... Thank you. I'm glad. Have you ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. Have you ever killed a person? Many. But that was a long time ago. I've killed someone before, too. AJ. You've killed someone? Yeah. I'm a murderer. But I'm trying to atone. Well, that's good. I guess. <sighs> that's enough. What about the walkers? Are you going to help us save our friends? I thought I could, but I can't. So many walkers would die. All of the death this would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine, but I can't have more blood on my hands. James, the walker in the barn, the one with the different eyes, what was his name? His name? What do you... How about the woman in the back, near the wind chimes? What's her name? I... I don't know. Asim. Omar. Violet. Those are the names of my friends, the ones who were stolen by the raiders. I'll never forget that. I may be stubborn, but I'm not heartless. Those raiders are cruel. 
they force others to be the same. And if your friends are anything like you, I don't doubt they're worth saving. It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. You said there might be people inside walkers. Did you mean it? Is he right? Well, we can't know for sure. <sighs> Maybe he's right. Death might not be like we thought before the world turned like this. Maybe something is left after we die. Uh, it sounds weird. But if you believe it, I do too. Come on, AJ. Let's get back before it's too dark. I've never met anyone like James before. I mean, he's tough. Not like you, though. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. Hey, Clem. Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James, he agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were gonna sneak onto a boat and a herd of walkers, I'd have called them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well, I wanted to throw one last hoot nanny before the big fight. Swear? Huh? It sounds like a swear. No, it's just another word for party. Right. I know it sounds strange, throwing a party, but people need something to lift their spirits right about now. This could be her last chance. Mm. I wouldn't make some tea for everyone. Could I borrow your little heater thing? What can I do? We need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay. I'll be an artist. I'm gonna make the deck, uh, uh, the decor... Decoration. A decoration for the party. Okay, I'll get the heater. What's his name? Beat Nick. <laughs> That's funny. Do you even get what the joke is? <laughs> no. I'm gonna show him the tin later. I'm done, Clem. Come see. Okay, be right there. Hey, you're getting better at this. Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing.
There are three kind of lies, Clem. Hmm. Oh, yeah? There are live people lies. We got those. Then there's monsters' eyes. They usually look like dirty water. Other times, monsters' eyes aren't even wet. And then there are live people eyes, right as you kill them. Like you did to Abel. His, his eyes look like you blew a candle out. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him, too. I think there's something wrong with me. You're way too little to see so much death, AJ. So much violence. No, I'm big enough. I know I'm big because I think of this stuff now. I care about what I do more. I'm getting real smart. <laughs> Is that right? Yes, because I'm always thinking all the time. Okay, what are you thinking about right now? You getting bit, turning into a monster. Oh. Yeah, the older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. That's not happening. You don't know that. No, I don't, but it won't happen anytime soon. You don't know that either. You're just trying to be brave for me. <sighs> it does something weird to my stomach. Like I'm gonna get the dookies. <sighs> AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Shoot. No. No, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, you promised. I don't care. I'm not gonna shoot you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. What? You don't mean that. I don't wanna be alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it so much, but don't make me. Alvin Jr., you know you're not supposed to talk like this. You're too strong and too brave. I don't think I am anymore about this. Yes, you are. You are, okay? <sighs> You can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. We might even be okay. You think so? Let's say James might be right. That monsters have part of the person they were still inside them. The thing is, no one can prove that. And if we can't prove it, we're not going to risk our lives over it. Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. Hey, little man. Hi, Louis. I'm going on patrol. So, patrolling's a thing? Mm-hmm. Patrolling's a thing. I was wondering... Well, I can't help but thinking... <sighs> you shot that raider who grabbed me, but... You saw them take Violet, too. Which means... You could have saved Violet and not me. Why? Why would you pick me? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have picked me. I couldn't let them take you. You're too important to me. I know I'm always teasing her, trying to get her to do that one eye roll she does. You know the one. Where it's like, you're such a dumbass, she has to do a full body eye roll. I do it because 
when I actually do manage to make her laugh, it's worth it. If I needed her, she'd be there. Meet Cleaver in hand, ready to chop someone in half if it meant protecting me. Hey, we're going to get them back, Louis. Yeah, damn right we will. Actually, um, that's... <laughs> that's not the only reason I dropped by. Ruby's whole party idea kind of made me realize something. What are you doing? Well, I figured since we might die tomorrow and never get to go on a real date. I thought we could. Damn it. Have one now. I promise I'll keep it short so we can finish getting things ready for tomorrow. <laughs> but I mean, nothing's wrong with short and sweet, right? Let's do it. I never thought I'd get to go on a date, ever. Really? Never? Have you met you? End of the world or not, someone would have at least tried to sweep you off your feet. <laughs> all right, all right. What? It's true. What do you know about dating, anyway? I'll have you know, I found some magazines in the headmaster's office that had some very interesting things to say about the dating world. Oh, yeah? Like what? Well, like, it said you can tell a lot about someone based on what they look for in a partner. You know, brains, brawn, dashing good looks, great sense of humor, that sort of thing. <laughs> sure, I guess. What, uh, what would you say your thing is? That you look for in a guy? If you had to pick. Hmm, I think I prefer a good sense of humor. All right, I see you. You got me this time. <sighs> if only I knew someone with one of those. I think that deserves a toast. A toast? Don't those usually come at the end? Hey, I warned you I'd make this quick. So, what do you say? To our last night alive. How about to bringing everyone home? Yeah. I think I prefer that one, too. So, I'll see you over there? Hey, Clem! <laughs> wow, where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up, and, and that was pretty gross. But look, it works. <laughs> I should start heading back to the admin building. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> back! <laughs> You're terrible. Hey! I love you, Clem. I love you back, kiddo. <sighs> okay, we better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay. Looks like things are coming together. Yeah, we still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? You gonna play the piano all night? God, no. I wanna actually... Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. 
Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Let's deck this place out in green. It'll look like we're trying to summon leprechauns. And before you ask, leprechauns are too hard to explain and don't really exist. I'll make it happen. Look, check this out. When you turn that crank there, it plays music. And he pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Wouldn't happen to have any good jazz records, would you? Oh, yeah. The old music teacher was a big fan. Pretty cool guy up until he ditched us all. What's jazz sound like? It'll make sense when you hear it. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. AJ, why don't you come up with something? Really? I have an idea. It'll be a surprise. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. This place is gonna look great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Hey, Clem! Check it out! I found a bunch of books on ships! There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff! The key is the boiler! Wait! What are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. I don't want to uh, discourage you, but we're gonna be on that boat to rescue the others. Please, don't get us killed. What? No! I mean, yeah, I still have a few details to work out, but don't worry. I'll make sure there's time for you to get off the boat before she explodes. Trust me, this'll work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. And, um, Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how he treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie. But don't tell me. Tell Ten. Looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle? I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. I mean, I think it deserves a name. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker. How about Mitch's masterpiece? Yeah, I like that. Mitch would have too. Okay, then it's settled. I found them! Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Erickson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. 
and how we got stuck here for as long as we did. So what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, we might as well know who we really are. So I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. You know what, Ruby? I bet you're reading your own file. <laughs> Whoa! How'd you guess that? <laughs> it's the red hair. Dead giveaway. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. Our sweet Ruby here was kind of a nightmare when she first showed up. Ooh. She once chased the home ec teacher around the yard with a barbecue fork this big. No way. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Dude, no. Chronic masturbation. Willie, I speak for all of us when I say nobody has ever, ever wanted to know that. What does that mean? Uh-uh, don't you dare. Uh, anyway, maybe we should change up the music? I like all kinds of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. Sure, we've heard enough of this. Throw some country on. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper. That one girl with colored braces, and Joey, Maddie, Lamar. Erin, she had the braces. Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Whose is it? Violet's. Should we read it? I, uh, I, I could tell you guys my story instead. What got me sent here, I mean. Only if you want. It's not great. The person you are right now is all that matters to me. Whatever bad things you did in the past, that's not you anymore. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Of course I remember. I helped compose it with her. Could you maybe play it for us? If I was here, she could sing the words, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to, Ten. This is for you, Minnie.
Hey, sweet pea. We? Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Uh, you were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me. And I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. You kinda had to think on your feet. Monsters took over the world. And you got stuck taking care of an eight-year-old girl. You were a handful. But I didn't get stuck with anything. You kept me going. You want to tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now, and I've been in so many, and they always fall apart, but I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends, and getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. You're right. I just needed to hear you say it. I'm going to get my friends out of this. Every one of them. Alive. That's right. Imagine how Violet will feel when she finds out you came to rescue her. You'll have given her hope again. <sighs> oh, Sweet Pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Branch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A boy who thinks the world of you. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again. When you've gotten them out, okay? Out. And safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. Lee? I miss you so much. I wish you were really here. <sighs> I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. Uh, ben, you teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it? He'd be hard, too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. AJ's amazing, Lee. I've taught him to be strong and brave and capable. He'd be so proud. You mean more than I already am? Wow. To 
Just look at you. <laughs> Just look at you. <laughs> Thought I told you to keep this short. Um, you don't know how hard it is to find scissors these days. <laughs>